Time to play with some clay. Oh, okay, this is uh, the last day that I'll spend on making this, these horse armatures. Uh, this is for a instructional DVD set that I'm putting together on how to make armatures. A lot of people can't uh, or don't have um, the ability to buy ready-made armatures, and even if they could, there are some times when a project calls for a different size armature than what is available. And so you have to know how to make your armatures. That's why I decided to put this set of DVDs together on how to create an armature for uh, a horse, for a human, for a female, for a uh, human and... <laughs> For a human male and female and um, maybe even a dog. It, it gives you an idea of how you can uh, create your armatures and if like say if you're doing a, a, a cow or, or a giraffe or something else you find the same materials that I would use to create the armature from. And uh, I'm just showing you the basics here on three different, actually four different subjects, the male, female, the dog, and the horse. And uh, this gives you the basics so that you can carry on your uh, sculpting uh, projects any way you want. Um, it's, it's a good, it took me a long time to figure out how to make a good armature. I mean a long time. I started out making them with uh, wire and and uh, expensive uh, pipes and elbows and all kinds of stuff that I would put together for support. And I found over the years that that's really not necessary. You could spend twenty, thirty dollars for just uh, making one armature with uh, uh, galvanized pipe and elbows and everything else to hold up the sculpture and uh, soldering and welding uh, pieces of wire you can do that if you've got that ability but if you don't and you don't have the equipment to do that uh, uh, me showing you how to use simple products that uh, will hold the armature together just as well and will allow you to adjust it if you got it wrong. And believe me, you will get them wrong. Uh, legs will sometimes come out longer on one side and arms will come out longer on one side than on the other and you have to make adjustments. And uh, what I'm showing in this uh, set of instructional DVDs is how to lessen that ability, that possibility to make them a little more accurate. Now, I have uh, nine other uh, instructional DVDs right now on the market. Um, I'm going to put a link below this video uh, showing you the uh, place where you can go to see a preview of each one of the nine current DVDs that I've got uh, available. There are two of them that are in a two set DVD uh, format and they're a little more expensive than a uh, single set. So take a look and uh, it helps support me. It helps me uh, to uh, keep doing what I'm doing and uh, I know a lot of you have been following me for years and and uh, I do appreciate that very much. I appreciate all my followers, everybody that watches my videos. All right. I guess I'll get busy on the last horse armature for this uh, pro uh, production here. I started out thinking I was going to do a, a, a finished clay of this, 
but the more I think about it, it's a little too small for what I want to do. So at some point in the future, I'm going to make a larger version of these armatures. I'm, I'll use these for something in the future, but for now, uh, this is just an exercise for you to learn something about making armatures. All right, let's get, get started on today's video. All right, I put this uh, white background behind the uh, armatures so you can see what's going on. It's hard to see with uh, a black background when everything else is black. And so, this is just temporary. All right. I've got this uh, horse armature now mounted, and uh, I'm going to try to line it up here. Now the next horse armature is going to be back here. I've got these uh, pictures I took off the web, and. Uh, This is the one that I'm thinking of using. This uh, positioning here, he'll be on one leg, but I'm going to have to have him supported some way while I sculpt it. And uh, trying to find another drawing with that kind of positioning. It's, it's like these two here. I like the uh, movement a lot. So something like that is what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm thinking of having this one just a little taller or up higher than the other two. And I put the uh, pliers just below the beginning of the knee. And it's not a big exaggerated movement of the horse's leg. Actually, it's more straight. Okay. where I'm going to drill the hole for this uh, leg. Okay, I'm going to drill a hole where I mark it. go back here, but I've got to angle that foot so that it will go down into the wood. There we go. Now it's just a matter of drilling a hole into each one of these uh, pieces of wood and screw it down to the base. Now you can take each one of these clays and put it on directly on your sculpting stand or your board that you sculpt on and you can work on each horse individually. These horses are strong enough to hold themselves up. All right, that uh, 
showed you pretty much how you create a, a design and your armatures and then how to arrange your armatures so that uh, they work onto a base and if you're doing multiple uh, horses or figures uh, how to do it and make it easy on you to sculpt them individually. All right, that's uh, it for my instructional DVD. I'm just uh, uh, finishing up with the armature for the horses and how to arrange them and how to uh, design a, uh, uh, a, a an episode in time, you might say, a moment in time. And uh, that's uh, what I'm going to have on the instructional DVD. If you're interested in it, uh, as soon as I come out with the instructional DVD on creating armatures, I'll uh, post it on YouTube and let you all know about it. All right, everybody. Good night, and I'll see you next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.